Surely, no car in the past decade has been treated to as many reincarnations as the modern Fiat 500. Abarth had been making Fiat performance exhausts and tuning kits for a decade before it introduced the original 595 at the Touring Motor Show in 1963. The car proved an immediate hit, its size and surprising turn of speed guaranteeing it legendary status in its maker's annals, and helped to lead it up the path to Fiat's eventual takeover in 1971. A bar at 595 competes in design and styling. Like all Abarth 595s other than the limited run specials such as the Tributal Maserati and 50th Anniversary Edition, the 595 is built entirely on the standard Fiat 500 production line at Tiki, Poland. Abarth's stylists design, equip and specify it and the firm's development team does the component selection and special engineering. Powering the 595 is a 1.4-liter T-Jet petrol engine with an IHRHF 3P turbocharger, producing 143 bhp and a healthy 151 pounds foot of to work in standard form. The Turismo gets 162 bhp at its disposal, while the Competizion punches out 177 bhp. A bar at 595 Competizion interior. When you're staring at the available passenger space, fitted equipment and material quality in the Abarth 595, you'd have to be very indulgent indeed not to question why a rational individual might spend £20,000 on one. The 595's driving position is high and the absence of reach adjustment on the steering column will make it trying for some. The secondary control ergonomics are likewise not brilliant. A bar at 595 competes in performance. The motor eventually spins through to 6,500 revolutions per minute, but there's little to be gained from working through the last few hundred revs. Even though the numbers we return say that's the quickest way, it's just more pleasing to chuck the Abarth back into the meat of the Tavork range and feel it build. Peak power is all done by 5,500 revolutions per minute anyway while peak to war comes at 3,000 revolutions per minute, and between those two points is where it feels gutsiest. A bar at 595 competes in ride and handling. At 2.5 turns from lock to lock, the steering speed feels right. The 595 is a tidy circuit car composed, great, capable and fun. If you're pressing on, it's best to engage sport mode, which sharpens response and weights up the electrically assisted steering. It doesn't make a discernible difference to the stability control, mind, but that cuts in and out with such finesse that it's no big deal that it stays active. Engaging TTC, to work transfer control, meanwhile, makes quite a large difference. Instead of allowing an inside wheel to spin, when engaged it breaks that wheel while allowing power to direct itself as normal to the outside. A bar at 595 competes in MPG in running costs. As for running costs, a bar at claims 43.3 miles per gallon combined for the 595, which is some way behind its closest rivals. The Mini and Ford are in Bang D but the Abarth's 155 gram slash KM forces it two rungs higher, meaning that it'll cost more a year to tax.